our program is uh, a relatively uniquely structured program, which we are uh, a dual institutional program, in which uh, the residents get to spend a relatively equal time between uh, university of setting of, at Tulane and also at the uh, health system setting of, at Oshner Health. It is a seven year program, so the residents do get to spend a fair amount of time at both Tulane University and Oshner Health System. In terms of the sort of variety that we have at both hospitals, um, Oshner is a more sort of semi-private institution where Tulane is more academic, traditional academic hospital. And so there's a variety of patients that we see at, at both of those as well as at East Jefferson. So I think this program is unique and the patients that come to the hospital come from a wide catchment area in Louisiana. So we see some of the uh, patients who are the least served, who um, need the most care, that often have very advanced pathologies. So that's very uh, very good for training. I, I think the biggest learning opportunity, the most prevalent and, and the most important, I think, is our ability to operate early and operate often. We get into the operating room very much even as juniors, as ones and twos even. And it's very hands-on, a lot of single scrubbing with attendings that you can learn directly even as a junior. And it's a great practical way to learn. It's, it's you develop your skills early. Now we're using a lot of virtual reality, which is uh, can be on more of the educational side for residents and staff to visualize certain anatomy or surgical procedures as well for the patients, that's something we're implementing. Something we really like to use as residents uh, for learning and to communicate with patients is uh, 3D printing. We'll 3D print virtually anything you want, any sort of CAT scan of the head, of the spine, MRIs, and can print arteries, veins, tumors, and it's a very cool learning tool, uh, especially for patients to be able to see what's going on. It really can help you establish a better relationship with a patient and, and move forward in treating them. There's not as much hierarchy, I think, as there is in some places in terms of I never felt like as the intern that I couldn't ask a question of my attending, which I felt like is, is a really great thing. There are two things that I love most about this program. One is just the sheer volume of cases that we have and the breadth of cases. So we get to do everything um, and everything often. The second is the people. You come in and you notice that everybody enjoys working with each other, which is so important with the amount of time we spend in this hospital. Our culture is actually one of the things as a program director uh, that I'm actually uh, the most proud of. I, th I think the, the culture is, is that, hey, we're all here taking care of a very sick, complex patient population. And whether you're a resident or an attending or a faculty or an APP, we're all on the same team. So we're all leaning in, working together. It's a family. We're two institutions in both places. Immediately when you're starting, you feel like you're getting thrown into being a part of the team. Immediately, everyone comes to you with open arms and, and open minds. And uh, you make what you want out of the program, and, and the program gives you, you know, what you can take. You know, we really prioritize not just the goals of the upper levels, but also the goals of the lower levels. I was actually a prelim here when I didn't match the first time around, and my goals were supported. I was very much a part of the team, even when I wasn't even officially a resident here. I was in the operating room and learning how to develop my skills, even at that time. I was trusted as a valued member of the team, and because of that trust and value that they showed in me, this became the program that I wanted to be in. We have a fun group. We play softball on Tuesdays now to prepare for the uh, neurosurgery softball tournament. And last year was our first year going, and now I think it was a really great resident bonding experience. And now we have this kind of outside of work time every every Tuesday that a lot of us go to. The kind of applicant we're looking for, I think first and foremost, is someone who is interested and dedicated to neurosurgery. You've got to have a, a love for it, uh, an interest, have an inquisitive mind. Second, someone with a good attitude is going to be a team player. That is of paramount importance because we're, we're a big family. It's important to have everyone's back at work. It's not easy being at work all day and every day. Um, so it's, it's, it's good to know that you have a teammate there who can help you pick up the slack when you're not able to and is able to, to look out for you. And another really important thing is someone who cares for people and is always gonna do right by our patients. What brings me into work every day are, is our patients. Again, we have a very diverse patient population and there's something to learn from each one of them, whether or not they go to the operating room or not. It's unbelievable what you can do for patients. You come in and you're operating deep in someone's spine or their brain. You know, something that is, should be, that, you know, not too long ago, it's probably unheard of or crazy, but we do it and we do it safely and we do it well. And it's a privilege 
to be able to do this. And when you're in the grind, it's hard to remember that, but it's a privilege to be able to do what we do. And when you have things go right and your patient does well, it's so satisfying to be able to say, I was able to do that. I was able to help that person. If you want to become a great neurosurgeon, you need to take a really close look at this program. It's, it's got amazing people. Um, it's amazing operative opportunities and you get to train in an amazing place.